Elon Musk unveiled his new semi truck to the world last week. Two models with a 500 mile range that accelerates from 0 to 60 in 5 seconds. Let me remind you, we're talking about a semi truck here. With an 80,000 pound payload, it accelerates three times faster, it recharges to a 400 mile range in half an hour, and with a 0.36 drag coefficient, it's faster than diesel and more fuel efficient. And it's a Tesla, so you know that center seated cockpit will have a badass autopilot come 2019. Who knows? Maybe nearly autonomous by then. But I hear you, you're screaming at the screen saying diesel is still the most energy efficient engine and will continue to dominate for another decade. So why is Tesla such a big deal? I think the trucking industry is an interesting growth area for Tesla and one prime for disruption where logistics matter and minute adjustments add to the bottom line. Tesla's electric semi is a big deal for three reasons, efficiency, autonomy, and zero emissions. Electric trucks will inevitably beat diesel on acceleration and speed that's well documented, no point in debating the matter. But coupled with the drag coefficient, I wonder how the time savings stack up. Logistics are a big deal with shipping companies that manage large fleets. Take UPS, for example. It's widely advertised their trucks rarely turn left. For years, it's saved on fuel, but those idle cost savings on a single vehicle, precious minutes every day, multiplied by their fleet of 108,000 vehicles, and you're looking at huge savings daily. They're also significantly less prone to accidents, meaning greater uptime. Millions are added to the bottom line just by avoiding the left turn. That's why logistics companies invest so much in efficiency. Every day is about how to run smarter and faster. Tesla's option introduces more variables to the analysis by providing trucks with better than expected range, minimal maintenance, greater uptime, and less costs per mile. If these numbers are correct, nearly 20% in savings solidifies the electric truck's future. Not to mention an easier driver experience? That's a bonus for companies notorious for putting the bottom line over driver well-being. So let's talk about autonomy. Autopilot will minimize risks by creating an easier experience for drivers with lane keeping, collision warnings, and automatic braking. Tesla's technology has revolutionized highway driving by leaving those micro adjustments to the computer. Not to mention, if a driver is non-responsive, the truck will pull itself over and call emergency services. Now imagine trucks that talk to each other. Zero reaction time in braking because they act as one train. This boosts fuel efficiency, taking the cost under a dollar per mile. Platoon technology can improve traffic safety and boost traffic flows. That's by minimizing the tailback space between vehicles. Every year, we're driving closer to full autonomy. So what does this mean for Tesla Semi? Elon Musk is chasing the future, like the rest of us who believe in the zero emissions dream. My hometown of Long Beach has adopted a zero emissions plan for the port of Southern California. Attacking the port's diesel-fueled operations is crucial to reducing air pollution. Tesla Semi, powered by the sun, are potential alternatives for port logistics. Not to mention we can move cargo faster, 80,000 pounds, no problem. The productivity boosts are a plus. Despite the administration's signaling of environmental deregulation, disincentivizing investment in expensive transportation alternatives, others like Tesla continue to drive for electric trucks. It's necessary for visionaries to paint this future. Tesla is important to big business because if Elon Musk can deliver, he'll be saving them a lot of money. Yes, the company has other promises to deliver on, but this event was about the future. He introduced the industry's first A-Class Semi with a 500 mile range, the first level four autonomous truck, and the first 50% cheaper level four autonomous platoon. Is the industry gonna go crazy pre-ordering this thing today? Besides Walmart, maybe not. 
But everyone realizes the need to decarbonize the transportation sector. Make no mistake, this market is on the verge of disruption, and I'm quite excited for 2019. I'm Aaron Robinson, and thanks for watching. Hey, if you like this video, please smash that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. Go ahead and drop a line down in the comments if you wanna chat about Tesla. Somewhere around here, I'm posting videos of other content of mine. If you're interested, please give it a look. And if you like this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.